fierce competitive nature. And that's what you want to see from a few of his teammates tonight. A, a, a bit of aggression, bringing that to the table. Myers to Hurley. Couldn't hold on. Zar Rakas. Back into the lineup. Bagley here. Tidies up to Stanton. Around the corner. High ball. Crammer is really deep with Frawley. He did well. He protected the drop zone of the ball so only he could mark it. Yeah, he did it beautifully. It was a great kick. He's accountable for someone. And I think that's been the question mark. It's the one goal last week for Crammer. This will suit his left side. And he comes and he hoists the first goal here for the Bombers. The other stuff tends to just fall into place. Hurley. Bell Chambers. Heppel. Put in 55. I think he deliberately did that and found out on Davy. With no pressure on and you can't allow that too often. Saw the Rewalt brothers dominate last night. Will it be the Davy brothers tonight? Well, they're going goal for goal. Free kick going to Turlich there. Did well then, Gillies. Ryder came out on the lead. Zaharakis for his third attempt. And finds Hocking. Just an issue for them at the moment as Heath Hocking goes back. He's going to actually flick this one off. He does. Gets it to Goddard. Difficult angle. Now that'll be down the ground if it doesn't go through. It's gone through for a goal, so the advantage will be paid. Ripper goal. Bell Chambers at the back. Watson lurking dangerously. Pursued by McDonald. Did well Watson on the non-preferred. And Zara Rakas has had it about seven times in two minutes. There's a lot of Melbourne players back, but at the moment they're just all guarding space. You need to... There's no point guarding space if you're going to let players waltz in and mark uncontested. Zaha Rakas hasn't got the journey. Riders there. Gilly's there. Free kick. It'll go the Bombers' way. Oh, some worrying signs, uh, BT, Richo. Bell Chambers for the Bombers' third consecutive goal. A certainty, and it is. Tidied up by the Demons here. Interesting that both clubs wearing black armbands. There's Viney. Did he dispose of it legally? The umpire said no. It's a free to howl it. Over here. Come back on. There's another handball receipt. They've got to stop this. Stanton just runs around the back ever so easy. Bell Chambers. Got it again. Yeah, and there were one-on-ones everywhere inside forward 50 again for the Bombers. Six marks inside 50 already for the Bombers. Bell Chambers for his second goal. Doesn't let them down. Four in a row for the Bombers. Led nicely in front of Hooker. You've got to get the feeling he's a bit quick for him. 55 metres, lets it rip. Fletcher! <laughs> There's the Iron Man. He is indeed. Help as hard as he could into Stanton. End up taking very strong mark. Fletcher's grab equally as impressive. How hard they transition run defensively, Melbourne. That would have been the other thing on the whiteboard for me. Opportunity, Melksham again. Little handball out the side. Stanton gets good purchase. He kicks the goal. Five in a row for the Bombers. Jamar. Bombers with yet another clearance. Absolutely mopping it up in there at will. Hurley. Both hands on it. Ball forward, here's Cremery. Making no Cremery just did so well to kick that. Gee, that was really, really good play against Gillies. Yeah, heavy strapping on the right ankle, I reckon, Darcy. He's moved and run reasonably freely on a mini fitness test, so they're going to put him out, I reckon. Got to put some time into Heppel. He's up to 14 and just getting the ball in space like that. Davey Watson able to get around one, able to straighten and face the goal and kicks another. James Frawley in his first year wasn't a great kick and he's learnt to just take that sideways kick 20 or 25 metres, doing what he can do. Fletcher to stance and look at the Bombers lining up in the pocket here. Cramery got hold of it but there were three of them. Perfect side for Cramery's left. Off a couple of steps, just nurses it through. Bombers get their third of the quarter. To transition back onto your man there. Melbourne were never going to win the footy in that aerial contest. Brilliant tap by Ryder. Used his leverage magnificently on Jamar then. Here's Goddard. And he's getting forward of that centre lingy. Kind of come to you for a comment on that at the moment as he finds an opportunity here with young Merritt again. 
But that's what you want him to do, Lingy. Kick a goal in league footy. Here he is, 25 metres out. Comes in, threads the needle. His first goal in footy. Dr. Peter Larkins. Clark has also just limped off with the Melbourne doctor sitting down on the bench uh, coming back from that bad ankle last week, Brian. Classic clearance out of the middle there to Hurley. Hurley goes around the corner. That was beautiful centre clearance play by Watson. Bell Chambers dribbles it through for a goal. Got his third. Joe Watson, what a start. The forward line, it's nearly a goal every time. Beautiful play, the Bombers. It was great. Watson has had eight clearances. The entire Melbourne team have had just 13. Darcy, you're a ruckman. That's not easy what Paddy Ryder did then, is it? It's not easy, but it's been helped a lot by Mark Jamar at the moment. He has got to get a plan B. He's just cannon fodder in there as Bell Chambers takes another big contested mark, standing tall and strong, but different. You can't keep doing the same thing if you're getting smashed in there, and that's what's happening. Bell Chambers for his fourth goal to make it an even 50-point lead for the Bombers. Still not good enough. Let's face it, Melbourne just aren't good enough to beat the good teams, are they? They're just not good enough to beat the really good teams. This one's not over by any means, 50 points or 49 points. But you do get the feel there's just a little bit more effort in the Melbourne players tonight, even though it hasn't been good enough. Hurley. And Mark Neal must be wondering... I was right on Hurley then. Here is Hurley. Comes in, kicks the goal. 55-point Essendon lead. You cannot have Hurley with the ball 48 metres out and Cramery, the other key forward, standing on his own, 15 metres in front of him. For his fourth goal, Cramery kicks it straight through the middle. The a lot of big names there. Kane Pettifer played for that Kane club, Kane Pettifer, former Richmond player. Brad Ottens is playing up there this year as well. Stanton, top of the square. Dangerous spot here. For Melbourne to defend over the back, Goddard squeezed the little handball, got it to Cramery, he kicks his fifth goal. Well. Burns, Jamar and Gillies. They are going nowhere fast here. Look at the bomber player swarm. Howlett's eyes light up as he pumps it to the punt road end. confidence in themselves at all at the moment. There's no trust. All I can see out there is self-preservation. Melbourne players, you can see it in their eyes. They think, let's just hope my man doesn't get the footy at the moment. And when that happens, carnage as Essendon just stroll through again. Hurley! Off-hands Davy Goal! A whopping 74-point margin. All he goes long in the J-Mar direction. Hibbard takes a really nice mark. If they don't start to sparkle, here's Trent Gove. Heppel pursuing. Davey needs support. Found it in Matt Jones, but it was very late. Alwyn Davey with a nice smother recovers. Back inside to Hurley. Very unselfish. Could have gone himself. Watson now round. Bit of an underground handball. Got it to the young man, Merrick. Merritt snap at goal. He likes it. Well done, young man. Absolutely, BT. So important for the Bombers. He gives them that outside run and great ball use. They've got a bit of game time into him last uh, last round against the Crows and three quarters tonight. He'll be flying in uh, another week or two. Here he is, just on as the activated sub, comma. Myers sweeping left foot. Watson's got really good body position here. There's no way he couldn't mark that. That was a perfectly weighted kick to the advantage of Watson behind. He knew this, exactly what he was doing with that kick. For an 89-point lead, Watson from point-blank range. Bombers by 89 in the third. To give from a Melbourne point of view, if Essendon really put the foot down, 122 points is well and truly within their reach. Here's Dempsey. Oh, beautiful kick to Stanton. He can keep running here. He can have a ping from 50. Instead, he goes to the top of the square with a ripping kick to Cramery. And Cramery is going to line up, I think, for a career-high six goals. Yep. 
And we go back and it'll slot through number six. What a gift this is for Essendon, second game of the season. They get game time into their players, they get confidence into their players. They certainly won't be bruised out of it either. Cramery kicks his sixth for a sixth consecutive goal to the Bombers. Kick four goals in round one. Had a great game as a, as a midfielder. Hasn't had the same impact tonight. But they've got a much more got dangerous the, midfield for mine at the moment, Richo. Got maximum votes in the Coaches Association round one, Benny Haller. That's how how well the coaches viewed his game in Adelaide in round Did one. You see the little Garland fend off of Fletcher then. It was very soft. Watson's marked the ball directly in front. How does it go back and see how dainty that Shepherd yeah. was? Affected the marking contest, but that's what happens when you lose confidence. You just sort of worry about your own and this man. to equal his career high. He's kicked three goals in three previous games, but more importantly, to make it a 102-point margin. But yeah. he's still got to tackle correctly. Cameron Ling, they might be listening to Lingy because uh, I'm looking at Colin Sylvia. He's tracking Joe Watson there, top right of your screen. Yep. And I think the coaching staff has decided to do exactly what Lingy's been pushing for, make Colin Sylvia play on a gun in Watson. Have a look at this. Here's Hurley, needed clean hands. He said they're no good, so I'll just kick it along the ground. Here's Hurley. It's a really good look in. Now, beautiful lead by Ryder, but Garland got back to cut it off nicely. A few good defensive efforts early. Garland, although he's fumbled that at ground level. So Howlett does his best to lock it in. At least he came off his man then. That was going to be a chess mark to Paddy Ryder. If your job's to kick goals, that's what you do. Look after your team and yourself. That was my <laughs> motto, Das. Here is Howlett from about 40 metres out. Really tough angle. That's bending back nicely, though. That'll be a goal. He slid that past the front of the goal post. Right at the moment. And I said it. They've been halfway through the second quarter. 100 point smashing. Eat away at the fabric of footy clubs. And well, we all remember that famous one. 186 points when Geelong defeated Melbourne. You know what happened next. Oh, yeah. That was the end of Dean Bailey. It was. Played in 136 point loss in 1996. It was the end of Alan Joyce. Here's Watson to Ryder. And Lingy, do you remember that 186 point defeat of Melbourne? At the end of the day, we looked up at the scoreboard and almost couldn't believe it. It wasn't a pretty day for the Melbourne Footy Club, but we enjoyed it. Paddy Ruthless. Ryder. As if the premierships weren't enough. 45 metres out, drills at home. with Michael Hurley instead of just playing the ball on its merits and just gone into your shell there Heppel with your comes in Rito and makes it a clean 126 points well I remember at Richmond under Robert Walsh we had a 80 odd point loss one day and we turned up at seven o'clock the next morning and we ran a lap of the square for every point we lost by <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, a lap of the square for every point yeah, it wasn't good Fletcher to Heppel. He can go if he wants, and he will. Got to get back on the left. Now he opens the angle and goals. 132 points. <laughs> oh, no. Anyone, 165 points. Here's Hurley to Heppel. Heppel, good body position. Jamar did well. Now Gillies. But it's going to come back. Goddard. He's a big kick. And he's a really good short kick. And Stanton will give them a chance to go 138 up. Hit round the head and round the neck. They're checking him, Brian, for a head knock. Stanton comes in, stabs at the ball. 13 straight goals for the Bombers. How Melbourne have played here tonight. Just very awkward position. Other than terrible. Back inside. Frawley. Watson was electric and has been. Dempsey kicks the goal and there it is. Another record tumbles. Unbelievable. We'll challenge the 400 game mark without any doubt this man Dustin Fletcher. Ticking down here now. A massive 148 point victory. Essendon's second greatest winning margin ever against anyone in their 117 year history.